These were the world's strongest kids and they shocked the world with their strength. But where are they now? 10 years later, the strongest kids in the world. 50 million views? These kids just went so viral. I mean, I think everybody knows them. You should know them. The strongest kids in the world. Juliano and Claudio Stroy. The brothers? Oh, these kids blow my mind every single time I watch them. This looks fake. Juliano recently made headlines when he posted a video of himself performing 90 degree push ups. What? <laughs> Oh, oh kids. what is this? This is so good. And 31 human flag pull-ups. Oh, what? 31 <laughs> human flag pull-ups. That's more than a strong athlete doing regular pull-ups. This is mental. Is he gonna do a handstand on it? Yes. Oh. Oh. So easy. Oh. What? What? No. If you have these abilities at this age and you maintain them, you have such unique skills. But also realize that being able to do this as a kid is also a pretty rare thing. That is right? also a skill, yeah. I mean, he could be in a movie where he's a very strong kid. Yeah, because he is a very strong kid. Yeah! Ah! Oh, no, 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 he's coming! Now I really wonder how they grow up. That's a very good one. That's yeah, a yeah, one. yeah. We pause the video here. We don't see the face. Look at this. You would say this is a, a gymnast like 25 years old. Yes. He's eight. When you're this strong at this age, where are you now? There is a video of where they are now on their own channel. There is. That is the dad. And th those are the kids. They didn't become these mass bodybuilders, but no, they have no, no, still no. very athletic gymnastics physiques. Yes, exactly. Can they bench 100 kilograms? No. All right, so probably they're more into boxing right now and not really into the strength stuff anymore. When you have so much pressure on you, so much viralness when you're this young and people expect you to become this superhuman, there's more kids and I think we might see more of them that just chose a completely different path because yeah. they can't be compared to their older self. The next kid. Richard Sandra. Richard Sandra. Whoa, look at those abs. But also the flexibility. So oh yeah. <laughs> He's sitting in the split. But I always think it's so mind blowing that all those crazy dudes also are really, really flexible. By the age of six, he was bench pressing an incredible 180 pounds. At the age of six? That's twice his body weight. I want to see where he is now. A daily workout routine of 600 push-ups and 300 push squats helped Richard maintain squats. his form. Why are you doing 600 push-ups, which is a harder exercise than the squat, and then only the half of the amount of... You don't want to get your legs too big. Body fat level of less than 1%. One half? What? 1% what? <laughs> body fat? Seems legit. <laughs> At the age of three, he was carrying three trucks on his back. Like, <laughs> yeah, what yeah, the yeah. But I do agree that he has a ridiculously <laughs> low body fat percentage. This like, is sub 10, it's like 8% body fat. Kid bodybuilder Little Hercules is all grown up and chasing a new dream. So also a switching career. It's Little Hercules, all grown up with a oh! beard and ponytail. He had bulging biceps like a champion bodybuilder washboard abs, and move like a contortionist. What? This explains his flexibility though. I think he's just hypermobile. That's him. Little Hercules is now a fire diver. Fire diver? What? Is that a thing? It sounds more like a stuntman. As a stuntman, Richard is set on fire up to five times a day. He's shot at and plunges headfirst off a platform 50 feet below. But here's a shocker. He's given up weightlifting. You don't lift weights anymore? I don't lift weights anymore. If anything, it just got boring to me. That's the other side though. When you, you start, start so, so young, early. then of course, I mean, it might get boring. When you meet someone today, do you hope that they don't bring up Little Hercules? Oh, I'm very proud of my past. It's not something that I don't want anybody to know anymore. He's a very confident guy. Yeah, I like his attitude. If you say like, oh yeah, that was me in the past. I do something different now. People can be like, oh, that, oh, too bad. And then you say, I am a fire diver. I'm a fire diver. <laughs> For cardio, he skateboards and he runs up and down stairs. Ah, <laughs> oh, now come on. To keep up his strength training, Richard does chin-up. Actually, I believe he did this for the shot and he doesn't do any chin-ups. Uh, no, no, no. Because look at how he did that chin-up. It's just like someone trying out a chin-up. Dream job today, what would it be? Quantum scientist. Wow, what? Yang Jin Long. Yang Jin Long. You just said he carries three trucks at the age of three. It's this guy. It's this guy. <laughs> he also possesses strength, which is unusual for kids of his age He's range. He's Jin Long has demonstrated the ability to consistently carry his 200 pound father. It's not just once, it's not just <laughs> twice. No, consistently. He carries his dad to school. That was 11 years ago, and there's nothing on him today. No. 
Let's just say he became a quantum scientist. Yes. Mariana Naumova. Russian Mariana Naumova currently holds the title of strongest teenage girl in the world. I know her. You know her? When she was just 15 years old, Mariana participated in the Arnold Classic, 15? a competition named after Arnold Schwarzenegger. Oh, damn. At the tournament, she bench pressed an astounding 331 pounds, more than most adults can lift. What? They on some roids. Probably not. <laughs> no. Where, 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 where is she now? Mariana looks unrecognizable today, age 22. I wouldn't say unrecognizable. No. 57,000 followers. Is there any workout related stuff? She looks fit. Yeah, but not like a powerlifter. She competed last 2020. So that was the last time she lifted. So she's still very fit to this day? Yeah. I think she stopped competitive lifting. So far, there is a clear pattern. Yeah, there is a trend. Everyone quits, <laughs> basically. CJ Center. CJ! CJ! My man, CJ! We have an entire video about this guy, which is like, here, you have to check out later. But... This was epic. Known as the workout kid, CJ has been exercising and getting in he shape like a since he trainer, was five years old. He was like a coach at 10 years old. But there's so many adults that could follow this guy and get way fitter than they are right now. This six-pack sporting kid consistently demonstrates his strength, agility, and endurance while undertaking an exercise regime most adults wouldn't be able to handle. No. Where is he now? Today. Oh, that's a very high vertical jump. He plays American football. Oh, he's just, he's just an athlete then. Last tweet was... 2019 and actually looks like he's also still fit to this day but yes. just not very active on social media like a lot of the people we've seen maybe they got enough of all the attention there's more jake schellenschlager now oh. 15 years old jake schellenschlager began his journey to becoming one of the world's strongest kids when he was 12. where this teenager left his mark was in the deadlift competition there, Jake succeeded in lifting 300 pounds. That's a heavy weight. That's a very heavy weight. We have oh, his Instagram. He just grew up to be like a very big guy. This is recent. He's 23 right now. He has a story. Oh, oh he's in the gym. Oh, he's of course he's in the gym. He just continued lifting and is still like one of the top ones here. Naomi Kuten. At just 10 years old, she managed to squat 215 pounds, more than twice her body weight breaking a record previously held by somebody four times older. What? What? And deadlift 249 this is pounds. Ridiculous. Both attempts broke records and demonstrated why friends and family call her Supergirl. Supergirl. But is she still Supergirl? Is she? She's still Supergirl. Oh, and Albie Supergirl is her Instagram. 21. 67.5 kilograms. A deadlift of 175 in competition, a bench of 65 and a squat of 150 kilograms. That's a heavy squat. Still Supergirl. I mean, there's no good or bad if they continued or not, because no. it looks like all of them, the ones that we could still find, found another passion. Varvara Akulova. Another girl. The daughter of circus performers, Ukrainian oh. Varvara Akulova has been listed in the Guinness Book of World Records and is often referred to as the strongest girl in the world. At just four years old, she started lifting weights. These numbers just get normal to me, but four? What? That's not normal. By 10, she set a Guinness record by lifting 220 pounds before smashing that four years later with a massive 660 pound lift. What lift? That lift? No. No. That's a a 600 no, no, pound no, 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 no. Yeah, but what else? Experts believe she possesses special genetics, passed oh. on from relatives who also demonstrated exceptional strength. Yeah, I, I need to know more. What, what? Once dubbed Girl Hercules. Girl Hercules. She said, I do not take steroids. I only take multivitamins. This is her Instagram. TRX, weightlifting, yoga, snowboarding. Active life. Here, she's older. Is this her? Yeah. Still uh, going strong, apparently. I think she also continued. Cool. These kids already looked insane. Maybe even better than bodybuilders 100 years ago. We made a video about how the human body changed in 100 years. Make sure you check it out. Subscribe to the link and hit the bell.